Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our product review videos. Today we are going to be reviewing the bare skin hoodies. We are not sponsored in any way, shape, or form from Bearskin Hoodies. I bought these hoodies, these as in two, I bought two, uh, with my own money uh, as I thought I was really interested in them. So we will break down the likes, dislikes, value, and what we think about these products here right away. So let's start off first. This is how they come. This can be a bit of an unboxing. They come in a bag. It's kind of a neat bag. It says Bearskin Hoodie on the front of it. It's got a zipper styled kind of like a Ziploc zipper pack, the, the good ones. It's kind of like that. So yeah. you open it up and you pull it out. So right out of the gates, they offer their product at an expensive price and then they give you 60% off, which makes it reasonable. They make it sound like it's a one sweater that ends all. Um, I mean, the product feels like a decent quality. There's a few things that drive me crazy right off the gates. I'm not a big fan of this flap that they've put on here. In a minute, I'll try the sweater on. You'll see what I'm talking about, I think. Um, the other thing I'm not a big fan of with my experience with cuffs that are Velcro, this stuff is always great at first, but then it always tends to get bunged up on there and then it'll never close and then you'll have these annoying flaps flipping around in your way. So for me, th though this is uh, listed as tactical gear. I bought this for hiking and for working and to just to be outdoors in. So if this was tactical though, and if this does lose its integrity, I can see that being very annoying for somebody who has a firearm or is trying to do police work or tactical work and this flap is getting in the way, possibly into their trigger guard. So anyways, I went on their website and I ordered hoodies based on their charts. None of their charts take in account for a pizza belly. So I have a 36 inch waist. Uh, I can't remember my other numbers, but I measured them at the time of the ordering and I went on their chart and I made sure that the numbers, I fit well within their large, like I did not, or sorry, within their medium sizes, which I wear large and everything else, so I should have known better. But when I got it, <clears throat> And I got all excited to put on my new bearskin hoodie and oh, everything's feeling great still, huh? You know, okay, it feels, wow, wow, that fits. Shoulders, arm length, oh man, it's amazing. And then I went to do, do the sweater up, which, let's face it, if a guy could lose a few pounds, that's great, but right now it's, you can see my pizza belly. Yeah. So, I'm unclear at this time what I'm gonna do. I'm clearly gonna return these I may return one entirely and just get one in the large size because as mentioned those couple things I don't like about the wrist cuff and about let me show you what I'm talking about so I will do it up just so that you you know I don't want to give any unhonest reviews I want this to be non-biased and I will say that I did buy this again with my own money and I was really wanting this to be what I thought it was going to be and I just I'm not going to use words like cheap or dislike, but I am going to use words like um, maybe not misled, but misrepresented. And for some reason, it seemed to fit their model a lot better. Like if you see this thing is, I can't even see like, ooh, where'd you go? So I get what they were trying to do, but what I think if they were going to do this, they should have had is on the back of the neck here, they should have had two buttons here with a little loop so if it's like this that's fine but if you wanted to shorten it you could pull it back and then button or velcro that piece so then it could hold it in a spot that's not in front of your vision again if this was a tactical garment i'd be very concerned with line of sight you know and if you're looking down a firearm and your sweater's doing this and my scope's here well you know let's just hope he's not on our police force so anyways this is the black one and like i say it fits me amazingly everywhere and that's why I'm hesitant and I may just send them back but like I say I'll probably reorder one in the large because the large has wider shoulders it has a longer garment length and right now these fit me perfect except for in the belly so why don't you comment below if it's bearskin hoodies fault or if it's my pizza baby's fault yeah. so moving right along like I say they had a promotion on I got 60% off the first garment I don't remember what the regular price was it was 60% off. It was a ridiculous amount and it ended up being $130. I'm not sure. I might have even paid that in US dollars. I never checked my visa statement. 
and this is their Coyote. Because I actually have two da tactical backpacks. I have a Coyote tan one and a black one. That's why I bought these two was to go with what I already own. The other thing that, on the black one it doesn't bother me, but on this tan one, these back zippers look kind of funny to me. But again, this is about form function. It's not really about that. Um, I do partially like that they've put the Velcro for like insignias and stuff. Like if you're want to put a Canadian flag, American flag, wherever you hail from, if you want to put, if, if you're mili ex-military, you want to put your unit number, you want to put something, whatever. I'm, I can't, I shouldn't speak to that because I don't know what I'm talking about, but it does have provisions for those. So if you find that cool, that is cool. I kind of like where they've put their logo and stuff. That, again, pretty cool. I like their logo. It's really neat. Um, their zipper quality, like it just, for their pocket zippers, I don't see it being a problem. For this main zipper, however, though, like if you're making really, really rugged gear, um, I buy a lot of clothes that uh, for work that are uh, Heli Hansen. And in the last few years, from my understanding, they've been bought out by Marks. And ever since that's happened, their product quality has gone downhill, in my opinion. And one thing that I noticed, not on this garment, because it's brand new and I've never worn it, but on my other garments, when they come with these tiny little zippers, and you claim it to be a work coat or, or tactical or rugged, these are the first things that go. I had a jacket that I bought last winter for $280, and within three months, the zipper wouldn't work, and I only had worn it maybe a dozen times. So, big annoying thing. Like, I think that if you want big strength, you need a big zipper. I, again, I'm not a garment manufacturer. I could be totally wrong. I am just speaking out of my own experience, not out of a technical sense right now, but those are my observations. So, let's try this one on quickly. And another weird thing that I noticed, and let's see if I can notice it again. I've had these for a couple weeks waiting to do the review. Yes, it, they, I don't know how or why, but it feels like the black one fits slightly differently than the Coyote Tan one. Like this one feels like it has more material in the arms. It's not as form fitting. And actually it's not quite as tight in my gut level. So yeah. this kind of speaks to product inconsistency in my mind a little bit and that it's going to be a little bit difficult to nail down your order size because as I say, like I could probably live with this size and that might be what I do. I might just return the black one and keep this one. However, I like the black one better, so I don't know. Yeah. What's your thoughts on this? How does it look on me? Does it, I think, does it fit nice or does it look yes. small? Does it look tight in my belly? I think if I was a random person and I was hiking in the mountains and I saw you wearing this, it would be pretty cool, but the one thing that I don't really like about it is if you go off trail and you're trying to like like shoot and you're trying to shoot an animal and you're trying to blend into an environment, this one wouldn't... Well, this is for grasslands though. So This is meant yeah. for like desert camo. Um, you know in the summer, we live in Alberta, yeah. Canada and in August, all of our all of our agriculture starts yeah. to turn this color. So, yeah, so it, it's got a limited... Yeah application but they do make other colors as yeah. far as i know there's an olive green and right after i ordered these i'm pretty sure i saw a dark navy blue version of this pop up too and again i you know i can't say that these are not going to last these cuffs over time all i can say is my experience with other garments with similar cuffs did not last so i would pit into that with very low expectations for this and probably what i would do down the road when the inevitable happens is i would take some scissors and just cut these goofy things off of here because there's also already a little bit of an elastic provision built into the cuff. So I get the idea of this because these are meant to be like weatherproof. So if you were to do them up tight, great. But what I'm seeing is in the black ones to this too, the wrist length, there's way more material in this brown one than there was the black one actually fit kind of nice. Whereas if I remove these, it would, and then you'll see when you've got them downsized, how bulky and like, if this is supposed to be tactical gear, a suggestion that I would have for bearskin hoodie is, maybe have your cuffs go the other way. So your loose materials on the outside where you're not gonna get hung up in a firearm or in any kind of, like if you're doing anything outside where it's either self-defense or you're doing something that's imperative where you're not focused on the little things, you're just letting things happen. These pieces are things that I would see getting snarled up. So I would even like to see in the future, instead of these silly cufflinks here, maybe do something like with their drawstrings here in the cuffs if you could have that somehow made into it so that this is more streamlined and then i would also suggest that you know we don't all have popeye the sailor man forearms so 
they could maybe lose a little material in the arming of this. It feels, like I say, the fitment, let me try it again from here back to the black one, but they feel entirely different, the garment fit, and they're both a size medium. Yeah. So to me, it just seems like they need to work on consistency in their warehouse a little bit because these are both the same fleece material, they're just different colors. They're both a size medium. Other than that, there's really no different. Yeah, see, look at There's almost no extra material in the arms of the black one. And the couplings, when they're loose, look at When the couplings are loose, it's, it's, it's the right size. So it's almost like that other garment has everything large except for the waist size. So again, now when I zip this one up, look at like, see, this one's tight. This one's really tight right here. That one actually yeah. in the stomach fits me, but in the arms is goofy. So if you could, Bearskin, if you're listening, if you could take the sleeves off of this black one and put it on the chest garment of that one, get rid of this goofy flap or make a way that we can adjust it so it's not in front of our eyes, and I think you got a home run product here. Yeah. But anyway, it's not a big deal. And I think other than that, I think they're, you know, they're really close. They just need to work on consistency because as you can see right here, this one is a medium, right? And I never checked this, but I'm assuming, yes, this one also is a medium. So I will show you one more time just up close because I didn't really do it there. I'm just going to put my arm in. But if you look at how much room is left in the arm of this brown sweater, look at my whole hand how much room is in my wrist. And then now if I put on the black one, just to here again, look at, there's like almost two knuckles versus four knuckles. And look at, that's almost tight versus how sloppy the other one was. So as I say again, if I could get the fit of the black arm with the chest of the, the brown tan version, we would have a product that would fit me. But, when they're both size medium and one sort of fits in ways and doesn't in others and they're exact opposite of each other, it makes me hesitate a little bit to want to reorder anything and not just send them back to be perfectly honest with yeah. you. So that might be the conclusion that we reach with this. And again, this might be somewhat to do with my slightly different body shape maybe from other people. I don't know. Maybe these are meant to be more of an athletic fit for people, but here in Alberta, we eat lots of steak and drink lots of beer. We may be athletes, but we look like we're carrying a pizza baby around. So Bearskin, if you keep that in mind, maybe make one that fits or do maybe a, an option where you put a belly button around the circumference of your stomach on your belly button height measurement that you could maybe fit into this. Again, I'm just trying to help you by helping me at the same time. So that's gonna sum it up for our review of the Bearskin hoodie products today.